here I am at this incredible pre-Incan temple in the center of Lima, Peru, Huacapujana. It's fascinating to see that these bricks were laid by hand and still have the fingerprints of the people who laid them over 1,500 years ago. Hi, I'm Bill Stubbs, and today this is Moment of Luxury from exotic and romantic Lima, Peru. As an interior designer, I've created and experienced beauty around the world. When you think of luxury, what comes to mind? A fabulous home? Or maybe an expensive piece of jewelry? But really, it can be a lush garden or a simple cup of tea. Because it's not about wealth or status, it's about discovering the beauty around you. Hi, I'm Bill Stubbs. Welcome to a moment of luxury. Today, we'll venture into a president's palace, a chef's kitchen, and a designer boutique to discover how time and culture have fused to create such a vibrant, diverse city. Behind me is the magnificent Palacio Gubierno, the governor's palace here in Lima. It's the residence of the president. Now this exact site is where Francisco Pizarro built in 1535 the original government house here in Lima. And it's now this magnificent palacio. What makes the governor's palace unique is its rooms, which offer a melange of styles ranging from Spanish colonial to French Baroque. This diversity is due to a 1921 fire that destroyed part of the palace but made way for contemporary ideas of grandeur to merge with those of antiquity. As you can see, there is no shortage of opulence here. This is the Golden Living Room modeled after the Hall of Mirrors in Versailles. Notice the symmetry in the design. The mirrors equal in size and placement instantly create a sense of order and expansion. Also notice this door that leads to another room. We can see a similar door opposite that maintains the symmetry, but rather than being operational, it actually masks an unfinished wall. Above the doors at the end of the hall, you'll see faux transoms that may not ventilate the room but draw the eye up, elevating the importance of the doors. We can see design is more important here than function, and that's a principle we can easily employ at home. I'm in the grand dining room here at the Presidential Palace in Lima, Peru, and I saw these great dining room chairs, and I think there's a wonderful application for all of us with these beautiful dining chairs. They're very Spanish looking. One of the nice things about this is the crest that's on the back. Uh, this is actually a replica or an adaptation of Francisco Pissarro's original crest from the 1500s, but they put it on onto this beautiful red velvet which gives it a very regal sense. Then they've trimmed the chair with this nice gold trim and then added the brass button or stud right here which is another kind of Spanish influence. Notice that the seat is vinyl or leather so any of us who've had a nice fabric on the chair seat of a dining table uh, chair have, been, have seen the wine spills and the things like that. So this is a great solution for that. And then use your really nice fabric on the chair back. You could have anything there because it won't get damaged. It'll always be protected. So this is a great designer secret for having a dining room chair that doesn't get spoiled at the first dinner party. Tradition is very much alive in modern day Lima, where the ceremonious changing of the guard still takes place daily. I have the 
honor of being joined by Mercedes Arajos, Peru's Minister of Trade and Tourism, to learn how Peru's past is shaping its future. We have 5,000 years of history. Yeah. The, all the civilization in, in the Americas started here in Peru. Wow, fantastic. 200 kilometers from Lima. Wow. So it's, it's amazing. It's yeah. something very important because it's the time of Egypt or China yeah. or more or less that right. time, you know. Yeah. So that's different. It's, you have a culture that comes from such a long time and Absolutely. at the same time we accept the mixture. Mm -hmm. So if Japanese culture coming here yeah. is, is our heritage right. now. Chinese history is our heritage because we have all these immigrants coming and they are part of our life. Well, I thank you so much for inviting me here and for really this country just as open arms to people to come and visit. Oh, yes. Please come back again. You know this country is beautiful. You only have a little taste of what we have. <laughs> You're exactly right. said that the street to the palace was once paved in silver and that Francisco Pizarro came to Peru in search of gold. If local artifacts are any indication, he wasn't disappointed. My name is Ulla Holmquist. I'm the Larco Museum's curator of collections. What I do in the Larco Museum is to have information about the different cultures that developed in ancient Peru available for the general public. The different cultures that were gold and silver and other metals in ancient Peru achieved the highest levels of metalworking around the year 500-700 AD. These pieces of gold and silver played a great role in pre-Incan society, where lords, priests, and priestesses wore it as a symbol of social power and of a connection to their God. From the magnificent objects that our ancient cultures left for us to admire, we know that the ancient artisans were really masters at working with their hands. The level of quality that they achieved was really high, and this has to do with the fact that they were complete groups of people that dedicated their lives to create these masterpieces. Just looking at them, we can recognize designs that until now are a source of inspiration for today's artists or designers or people that really want to access a new style or new styles that have more than 3,000 years. Nowhere is the fusion of ancient style and modern luxury more apparent than in the jewelry from Aldo and Company, whose designer, Aldo Noriega, and commercial manager, Jack Gomperoff, have invited me for an inside look at their work. So, Aldo, Jack, you have such beautiful things here. Tell me a little bit about the process that goes into developing this beautiful gold. I think, first, we'll... It's very nice to have you here with us. Oh, thanks. Uh, everything starts 